Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick treat topper for Valentine's Day. I thought I'd show you what I came up with. So to make this, fix my shot there. I started out with <clears throat> um, a piece of black cardstock that measures four inches by three and three quarters, and then I went ahead and scored down the middle of the four inch side. I scored right down the middle. So I can go ahead and just fold that in half. And that gives me the actual topper piece. And then to um, figure, finish the rest of it, I went ahead and used my Hearts of Flutter stamp set. So let me just grab some paper here. And we'll do a couple of quick stamps. In the Hearts of Flutter stamp pack, there's this pennant, which you've probably seen me use in the last couple of days. I'm just in love with it. I think it's so cute. I'm going to grab some stays on ink, some black, make that up. Oops, I don't like how that stamp. I'm going to stamp that again. Oh. Looks like my stamp is dirty. It happens. Grabbing a baby wipe to clean it off. What's funny is you probably can't even see it from there. <laughs> but Miss Picky here. I said picky, not piggy. <laughs> I'm going to stamp it again. You have to be careful not to dry your stamps on paper towels because you get little fuzzies. Okay, there we go. I'm much happier with that. Okay, so after you've done your pennants, because you're going you're gonna to need three, and a couple of other things we want to stamp really quick. Set this aside for just a moment and pull out another piece of white. And then I'm going to use this Memento Rosebed ink. I'm grabbing another Stampin' Up stamp. This one's called Happy Valentine's Day. I think it was, I um, can't remember how I got this one. I don't think it's available anymore. Um, it was just available for, I can't remember, part of January or something. And then they took it away, which I don't understand why, but <laughs> anyhow. But whatever Valentine's stamp you have will be super cute. Or if you have this one already, something fun to do with it. Okay, and then next, I'm going to grab this other one from the Hearts of Flutter stamp set, and it's this cute little scalped edged heart. I'm going to use the black for that one too. I'm actually going to ink this one upside down, make it a little bit easier to stamp. to cut these out. Now Stampin' Up! has a matching heart punch that will fit this Happy Valentine's Day. So I'm just going to use that extra large heart punch to do this. Put them in the shot there. So we'll punch the heart out. And then we need to pull out our cuddle bug. Set this aside for just a second. and do some quick little framelit cutting. So I have two framelits I'm going to use. First I'm going to do our little pennant here. So we have a A plate, B plate, the piece that we're going to cut with our framelit. And then we'll add our C plate in just a second here. Let me line this up. And if I'm worried about the framelit moving, I just use a little piece of washi tape to kind of hold that into place. And I can run this through. And I've already cut out two other pennants, so we'll just add this one to my pile here. And then we'll go ahead and do our little heart. Here's the little piece for that one. I love when there's a stamp that has a matching framelit. So cute. And when the weather's crazy and your power goes out, you can still use your cuddle bug, whereas when your power goes out, <laughs> You can't use your Cricut. It's kind of a bummer. Okay, so let's pull these pieces out of the way. And put this tag together. Guess we're keeping that one. So I have a little 
six by five Cielo bag that I'm gonna put some treats in. I'll do a little blow pop, a couple of Dove ch chocolates, dark chocolate of course. And then I have some little Tootsie Rolls here that we'll throw in. There we go. And then again, here's my little four inches by three and three quarters piece that I'm gonna put on there. Before I do that, I'm actually gonna add my pennants. Be a little bit easier to add it before it's stapled on. So let me just grab my ATG gun here and we'll flip these over. I try and keep my toppers simple, especially if I'm gonna be making a lot of them, because you don't wanna to have to keep repeating their steps. <laughs> That if they're really difficult, you know, you don't want to have to do too much on one, so, oops. So I'm going to kind of guesstimate out there. I'll do the same on the other side here. Let's turn it sideways so I can see better. And just kind of guess again. It may not be perfect, but that's okay. It'll be just fine. Okay, and there's our center one. And then we can go ahead. Actually, you know, I'm going to add some string really quick. I had some really cute baker's twine that I wanted to add. Oh, there it is. And I keep my baker's twine on a little doll pen. It's just the easiest for me to keep track of it. So I figure twice around. position. And then we'll see if I can actually tie a bow while I'm on camera. Usually my thumbs turn into lead when I try and do something, <laughs> something like that. So we'll see if we can actually do it here. No, nah, one more time. Okay, so there's my little bow. I need to trim the tails. And then we'll put together the little heart that's going to go on there. That we just stamped, and I'm going to go ahead and use a pop dot for that. staple on our little top piece here. The staple in the middle where I know it's going to get covered up by my little piece here. And then I'm going to grab just a little bit of sticky strip, which you still really don't need to do, but I find it's easier. And we can center that on here. And there we go, a cute, simple, and easy little topper for a treat bag. So anyhow, that's what I've been working on for Valentine's Day. Hope you guys have a fabulous Saturday. Thanks for watching, bye.